audioholics, this is Logan, and welcome back to Rolling Drones, where we cover the Rolling Stones' top 100 metal albums of all time. And um, yeah, uh, Naked City. <laughs> we we basically just uh, we basically just played the whole album back to you just now. Yeah, the entire album, by the way. Yeah. This is such a short album. It's only 25 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess I'll just go right into it. Right into it, yeah, guys. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, this is Tyler, yeah. by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, hello. My name's Tyler. I am part of the Naked City and the Torture Garden. Whoa, I've got two. Wow. Yeah. Dude, this is some shit. I mean, how do you how do you even describe this jazz grind core? It's just fucking insane. Absolutely goddamn bonkers. It's twenty five minutes of pure chaos with no real songs on it most of the tracks are less than a minute long this is almost entirely instrumental as well there are some uh, random screaming and sounds if you call that vocals i don't but if you do good on you this was an experience and everyone on planet earth should listen to it at some point in my humble opinion it is a transcendent album that will make you question your own sanity. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it has a reputation of making people commit suicide via saxophone. <laughs> so, essential tracks. I, 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 no fucking idea. <laughs> so, throw a fucking dart at one of the one minute songs and then maybe you'll find a good one. <laughs> Just listen to the whole fucking thing, guys. Come on. All right. Oh, by the way, I, I have to give this a ranking. I forgot about that. Like, yeah. Such a weird How the fuck one. do you rank this thing? Yeah, I, I'm just giving it a bunch of question marks because, I mean, what would am you, I supposed to Would you to say do? it's better or worse than Oh, no. <laughs> yes. I'll okay. say it's better than Sun. <laughs> I'll say it's better than Sun O because it's shorter. And I could probably more listen to this than that. Yeah, I'm just gonna like state right off the bat. That's pretty much my opinion as well. Uh, it's better than Sun O, I think. Um, so, yeah, what he said. Um, I I really don't have much more to add to this album that he hasn't already said. So instead, I'm actually going to do two things. I'm going to tell a story, and I'm going to list off some of the absurd as fuck um tracks on this album. There's 42, by the way. 42, like, 42 tracks on a 25-minute album. So whenever, um, basically, Tyler had listened to some of these albums beforehand because he was going to do this video earlier, I think, by himself. And um, so he listened to this, and then, like, immediately he told me about this band called Naked City that are weird as fuck. And he's just said, like, I'm going to send you a cassette of this. Um, and I think I was actually in school at the time. So I had to wait a while to actually get that cassette. But when I did, I put it in my cassette player and immediately it, it, it was just avant-garde is the literal only way you can describe this. Um, it's just like random sour notes on a saxophone, drumming, um, vocals. You learned about microtonal music while listening to this. Microtonal? What? I, I don't even entirely remember what that is. What is that? You know, atonal music is what it is, not microtonal. Atonal music, right. Basically, like, there's no center. Yeah. It, it, works around it makes you feel very uncomfortable listening to it it makes you feel like the album is touching you in inappropriate spaces in a catholic church so in here anyway i have some of the tracks pulled up on wikipedia um uh -oh. Uh -oh. They include songs like ja thrash jazz assassin at 45 seconds long <laughs> such a um, long bonehead at 51 seconds long 
Oh God, that's such a fucking that honestly, you'd be there for hours listening to that one. I know that that is such a great song. Um, Shank Khan Ling Feng is a minute and fourteen seconds long. Honestly, that's one of the longest songs on the album. Just forewarning. <laughs> it's the longest song on the album. It, this is this is Naked City's. This is Na- uh, this is Naked City's like November Rain or In a God of Davida, all right. Um, jazz snobs eat shit. I or love jazz that. snob <laughs> eat shit at twenty four seconds long. I listened to that one on repeat for a whole minute once. I know, I know. Uh, the title track is thirty five seconds long. <laughs> The noose at ten seconds long. Blunt it could have served. You could have cut off like a second or two of that song. I thought yeah, it dragged. I, I, yeah, I thought that one kind of dragged the two. Another ten second song is Billy <laughs> Liar. That one, on the other hand, I thought it was too short. You could have added a second or two. Yeah, yeah. I, I, see, there's a song that's fourteen seconds long, eleven seconds long. I'm just trying to see if there's what the shortest song on this album is. We should have made this video 10 seconds long. Yeah, we should have. <laughs> it should have just been random screaming and then we <laughs> wait. <the album. laughs> yeah, uh, 10 seconds. Those two songs that are 10 seconds long, as far as I can tell, those are the two shortest songs on the album. And there's 42 tracks. And the album clocks in at about 25 minutes. So fucking weird, guys. I mean, even if you hate Grindcore, listen to this shit. Yeah, and, and like, look, if you're listening to this expecting something that's like a masterpiece, no, if, if this is 150% a shit post. <laughs> like our entire fucking channel. Exactly. Well, well. Anyway, um, do you have any parting words? Only that the next album we're going to listen to is a lot better. All right. So, until next time, we are going to be... Thank you for enjoying the... uh, uh, Thank you for enjoying the podcast. Join us next time when we check out Body Count by Body Count. And uh, until next time. Yeah!